back to Virginia This Morning. Well, we're all in for a treat right now. Noah Scalin made an orange paper skull way back on June 4th, 2007. Well, and decided to post it on his website. Sounds simple, right? Nearly five months later, his website and that skull got 250,000 <laughs> hits. His Skull A Day project is an internet craze now. He's got a book. Noah's getting ready to get Skelly again, so he came to see us. Good to see you. No, good morning. morning. Thanks so much Welcome. for having me. All right, Noah, first things first. Where did you come up with the idea of creating a skull and then doing a skull a day? I, I wish I had a great answer for that. It <laughs> really it popped into my head. It, it was one happened. of those things that you know you th I mean, you have ideas all day and they sure. just pass through and you don't. And it was one of those ideas and I acted on it and that was the difference. Okay, so we have some images to show folks to get an idea of some of your work here like this. What's this one? This is quilling. It's actually an old-fashioned uh, uh, craft technique. It's not as commonly used anymore, and it was something I discovered because, of course, when you make a skull a day for a year, you <laughs> run out of stuff you know how to do pretty quickly, and so <laughs> I learned a lot of new things, and this is normally used for, I think, a lot more kind of frilly crafts, and uh, uh -huh. I don't think you see a lot of skulls made this way. Okay. We have another image here of uh, another skull. Wh which one is this? That's made of Legos. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course, there had to be a Lego. The skull. kids love that yeah. one. That's, yeah. a, that's a favorite of the kids. All right, I want to see more. We've got four of them to show you, and I've been flipping that's through my, the book. That's my actual head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, Did that know, one count as a day? Like, it, somebody oh, yeah. x-ray me. Come I, well, on. Yeah, I had was a friend help birthday? me. Uh, it was not, but that was what happened is that I had a friend who, who's an x-ray technician help me out, and there's a <laughs> possum skull inside of my head there. So we actually laid it on my head when we had the x-ray done. So there's not, not often when you get oh, x-rays for that. fun. There's the so. creative part to it. <laughs> yeah, to exactly. His art. Okay, let me see. We got one more. That's Light Bright. You I might remember that toy. Bright, yeah. yes. It's actually my sister's Light Bright. She won't let me sell it. So. <laughs> so when did it go into this? Because I'm flipping through this and I see a skull made of rice and birds flying and post-its and all kinds of stuff. When mm -hmm. did it get to this point? To the book point? Uh -huh. So I, uh, partway through the project, I realized that I had this great collection of images that I wanted to do something with. And luckily, uh, a book publishing agent got in touch with me, and we uh, pitched the idea to publishers. Uh -huh. And in October of last year, the book came out, and it features 150 images from the project. So it's less than half of the entire project. Wow. Um, and it's mostly from the first half, but there's a good range of stuff in there. So. No, I have to ask, when you put it on the website, yeah. when did you realize you're on to something because <laughs> you had 250,000 hits. And, and that was early on. It, now it's, I think, probably in the millions, honestly. It has to yeah. be in the millions now. But when did you realize, oh, I, I, I have to bottle this? You know, it was about 10 in, and, and people started really commenting and sending notes back. And I was like, oh, this was just my friends I'd send it to. I had no idea. But, <laughs> yeah. you know, with the Internet, you can't control things. It gets out of hand and very quickly. And people started sending me things from Australia. I mean, things were coming from all over the world. And this response was just amazing and completely unexpected. I was really surprised and, and happy to know that people enjoyed my work. But then, of course, it got a lot harder because now people were paying attention to what I was doing every day. So <laughs> right. the pressure was really on. Did you, uh, did you have a thing for skulls? I mean, did you grow up? Or was that just something that you felt that day and you made it and then, like you said, it's a little bit of, of both. Down. I grew up in an art household, so I yeah. think, you know, always around medical imagery and, and uh, you know, anatomy is part of that. Uh, and so it was something I've always liked anyway, uh, for sure. I'm looking for but another good one. Like a, like a truck a day right, or a flower right. a day. It's kind of macabre if you think about it. it. Yeah, it is, but it's actually a celebration of life. The project is really about, you know, we living in the them. moment and, and recognizing that life is short and that you need to really appreciate the brevity of it. I can't get enough there. of looking at these. I don't know if the camera can see it. That one is made out of candy, candy and, and the one next, next to, it. to it is sugar cubes. Yeah. I mean, really, you can <laughs> see all sorts of images just in this book, and I'm fascinated. And once like you, you see them, that you can't stop half. seeing. And people uh, all over the world send me pictures of skulls they've discovered, they've made, but also ones they've discovered now, because you start seeing them everywhere. Sure. What was the simplest one, though, that you made that uh, took the least amount of time? <laughs> and what was the most intricate that, that took several hours, if not days? Uh, so the most, uh, the most simple, I'll say, it was the first one, because, of course, I wasn't thinking too hard and just cut <laughs> this out and put it on a scanner and put it on the Internet. And, uh, of course, after that, nothing was that easy. But but uh, the, the longest ones uh, were often the ones that were seemed like they'd be easy, latch hook and cross stitching, which are, you know, fairly simple latch crafts, hook. but they take a long time and yeah. normally people parse it out. But the, my whole idea was to do one a day. And so to do latch hook in a day, that was nine hours 
pretty much nonstop except for a break in the middle where I had a <laughs> headache and had to take a nap because it was uh, making me a bit crazy doing it. So, so what's next for you? Well, I actually have a show right now at Quirk Gallery, uh -huh. and we're showing uh, 100 of the original uh, pieces from this project. And uh, so I'm still really embroiled with the project. The, the, the site has gone on, even though I finished my year of skulls. Uh, there's now actually fans <laughs> sending them nonstop every day. <laughs> so we just keep posting, and fans of the project help run the site now. So, I mean, you know, this one little idea it just keeps going. You know, so it's in its third year now. You are on to something. Well, no, you are from Richmond, and uh, welcome back home after Thank the you stint in the Big Apple, <laughs> and uh, we wish you well. Thank yeah. you so much. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you got it. Pleasure to meet you.